What's me, Top Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to use Photopia to make some thumbnails. Some very nice thumbnails. This is a basically just a very basic t tutorial on... Basically, very basic tutorial on making thumbnails for YouTube on Photopia. Photopia is a free app... Well, not, it's not even an application. It's a free browser uh, website thing that you can use. It's a very good uh, Photoshop alternative that you can use. I honestly really like it. It's such, a, it's such a great website, I guess. I don't know what to really call this. I guess it's a very great website to use for making thumbnails and all that. I'm going to show you how I made this. And I'm also going to add more effects to it that I didn't add to this thumbnail quite yet. Let's start with the background. The background, the way I made the background was actually quite simple. I took this image off the internet. It looks good on its own, but in my opinion, the background itself, it's a little bit too light because you kind of want to make the text stand out a little bit more. I'm the kind of guy to make normally a darker background with a lighter text because that would kind of, you know, have a nice contrast and make the, th the thumbnail pop out a lot more. The way I fixed this was I took this layer and I kind of use the blending mode. The blending mode is up here. Uh, normally it's set to normal. Normally it's set to normal. <laughs> and this is how it will look on normal. Well, I have the opacity low, so there we go. This is how it looks on normal. And I just took it and overlay it on here. I tried it out every single one of these and I feel like overlay would look the best, but it was way too saturated for my liking. So I lowered the opacity and it looks a whole lot more cleaner. There's a lot more color to it on the corner where it kind of just removed all that color. I like it for the thumbnail that I was trying to make. And now we have um, the text. The text, what I did with the text was I added two strokes. So normally I would only have one stroke and that stroke would be a shape burst, which basically uh, takes the color and makes, a, makes the actual stroke itself an entire gradient around the text, which looks very good in my opinion, but I feel like the color is blended in too much. So I took a very thin stroke and made it pop out a little bit more from that uh, first stroke. So I then went to the gradient overlay and added, changed, changed the two colors into like a, a very light, um, almost, almost cyan like colors. So I took a very light sky blue and then I took a cyan blue and made that into a gradient over the text because it kind of adds more color to the thumbnail. If I have that as a very white text, it doesn't look that good compared to when I have a gradient over it. So afterwards, I added a drop shadow, which this is probably a little bit more harder to explain. Basically, I made it look a lot more uh, cartoony. And the way to make it like this, very blocky, is you have to go to the blend mode, set it, set it to normal, set the spread to 100%, and then change the size and maybe have the distance uh, like like a few, a few pixels away just to make it uh, stand out a little, little bit more and because if you have it at zero distance it kind of just looks like another stroke so you kind of have to change the distance a little bit to make it al almost 3d actually that, that's that's the word I was looking for almost like a 3d text so afterwards I normally go to a uh, graphics pack that I use called Canvas Creates Retro. Canvas Creates is a YouTuber. I'll link the pack. Well, I'll link the channel down below and along with the pack that I'm using. Right now, I'm just going to experiment with some of these lights here because lights basically just add more of a emphasis to it. Well, it just, it, it, how do I describe this? It just looks good. <laughs> all, all of what I'm doing, it's, it's really hard to explain. It's, it just looks good. Normally I'd have it as a 720p 
thumbnail because 720p it looks fine but I accidentally made this a 1080p thumbnail so I'll show you how to fix that when I get to it let's go to the brushes here the brushes basically they add uh, more stuff to add in the background of your uh, uh, background <laughs> add more stuff to the background of your background or if you want you can overlay it on top of your text so like kind of like how I'm doing it right now where you can kind of have it overlaid above the text but the problem with overlaying it on the text is that it would draw more attention to the background rather than the text and you can't even read it so I also like to add uh, a smoke because smoke uh, it kind of separates the text from the background a bit more and once again it just looks good so uh Let's see what smoke I can add here. I like this one. This one's a really nice smoke because it layers right behind the text. So put it right there. Hold shift to make sure to maintain the size. And also hold alt as well. All right, so I'm back. And what I added was a border from the Canva Creates pack, which is like kind of like an electric kind of border. Um, I also added a, <laughs> the best way to describe it is anime lines, quote unquote, anime lines, as many people would like to call it. But yeah, th this is what I also added underneath the text to kind of bring more attention to the text. I also added a bit of an explosion right below here because I noticed that the background is a little bit too dark because of the overlay that I put on here. It kind of took away some of that color, so I'm, that adds a little bit more color to that area. And uh, yeah, so a lot of people are normally worried about overdoing thumbnails, similar to how I do it. And what I have to say to that is, honestly, just experiments. You know, if if you believe that you can, you accidentally overdo thumbnails, ask for your ask feedback for from your like viewers and whatnot, kind of like how I. Did it as well i asked for feedback in a video uh, as well and just kind of experiment with your thumbnails here and there and uh you know if you make a certain kind of video change up your thumbnail style and see which video does better and if it if one video does better than the other one normally because that's that's normally because of your thumbnail or your title or whatever so just really experiment around and find which one suits you I'm also going to do a little something to the text where I'm going to rasterize the layer style and I'm actually going to add another drop shadow and stroke to it. That's not the kind of stroke I wanted. I want the gradient stroke. There we go. I'm going to decrease the distance, decrease the size of it, and essentially just make it, 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 kind, of, it kind of adds another layer to it and then I'll add uh, more size to the stroke. And there we go. So I do this to basically all of my thumbnails, basically all of them. And uh, yeah, that's how to make thumbnails in Photopia. Um, I'm sorry if this tutorial is very rushed. I'm going to leave a disclaimer at the beginning of the video anyway. So what I'm saying right now is kind of irrelevant. I'm sorry if this tutorial is very rushed. It, it, I, this was my first like genuine tutorial on making thumbnails. So I don't know what to really say. Uh, so I apologize and um, yeah, it's really simple to make thumbnails. You don't need a lot of skill, you don't need a lot of talent uh, to make absolutely insane, crazy thumbnails here and there. That would require a hell of a lot of like knowledge. So, but for now, at least I'm going to grant you the knowledge I have right now on how to make thumbnails for you to, you know, start your way on making somewhat decent thumbnails for your channel um so yeah oh wait i forgot no 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 no, no. okay wait, wait, wait i i almost forgot i need to show you how to export this <laughs> so to so export you export this png and then like i said before i accidentally had it at uh uh 1080p when 720p works better for this because youtube so the way to fix that I just type in here 720p as the height, make sure the chain thing is on, and they'll change this to uh, 1280 to make it 1280 by 720p. 
and then hit save and then it'll download right there. So now, now y'all can go. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, don't subscribe. Go to subscribe members to be a subscriber. I'll see you guys next video. Take care. Bye.